Hey guys, it's me again. I just finished playing against that laggy Canadian guy and the lag cleared up as soon as I stopped the video, but he was absolutely awful. I just I took him apart in three seconds, so don't worry about that. It's not even worth me uploading the replay so that you can watch it. Because it was just useless. He ran into every single fireball. Oh, it's this guy again, he's Go Compare. So, um, this guy's pretty high ranked, so I'm gonna use my Chun Li, even though it's yellow bars. I mean, there's nothing to say I'm gonna beat him, because. Go can, can beat Chun Li, even though Chun Li. she's got a lot of good tools against him. If you get into any situation where he can put you in the corner, then. You're really having a tough time then. But Gokan, he doesn't have many tools to force you into the corner. He's quite slow on, on the ground and you can beat him in the air, so... That's all we're trying to do. Against this number 14 Gokan. I'm going to try not to jump too much against Gokin because he'll just jump into a fireball. So I just walk him. So I made a few mistakes when I was playing that match. Um, I did a lot of neutral jumps. Like, whenever he thought I was going to move forward, it was just neutral jumping. So, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'll just try and snipe him with a first punch. Try and shut that shit down. I'm a bit sad that my ultra didn't come out because he was holding on to that fireball forever. That was a very stupid thing for him to do. Because Gokun has got a very wide hitbox, you don't really even need to be like at, at max max screen distance you might still hit him. So he's gotta be very careful about that. Hoshimitsu. No, Hoshimitsu. I think he misspelled that because that, that doesn't make sense in Japanese. I mean Hoshi, that means star. Uh, Mitsu. I don't know what Mitsu means. I suppose it's like Yoshimitsu. Oh, and this guy has just decided that it's Hoshimitsu instead. I think you can watch too much Naruto. I mean. Kind of gets to your head that stuff. The thing you got to remember about flanker is that they always want to ultra you on wake up. Like, always bait that out against the flanker player. Because they haven't got very many good options inside them. I 
I'm very, very trigger happy on wake up, so I'm going to be very careful when I'm getting down there. Gotta get that dash ultra down better than that, because that, that's useless. I mean, that guy won't be even good. I thought much better blanket player than that. I mean, you can't win them all. That's why we they play best two out of three in tournaments. Like, sometimes you just get flustered, sometimes you haven't made adjustments quick enough. Try and minimise that as much as possible. I thought it was going to disrespect them with a character change for a moment there. My favourite stage is Snowy Rail Yard. I think that's a really cool stage. But I also like Run Down Back Alley, because that's pretty cool as well. It's really easy to see what's going on on the screen in those stages as well. It's the battle of the century! Like the players that have been more pro mix ups than this. I thought I might hit the fireball if I was a bit un unpredictable with it. If you just throw them out like as a, a cannon stream, then it gets really predictable. 
he'll just punish you straight off for it. Some players they think that if you slow down in a match then you're being really lame like you're turtling, but sometimes you have to do that to win the match. You know, you've got until the timer runs out and winning by timeout, that's a legitimate win, whether somebody doesn't like it or not. It's always pretty funny when you get some real um, frustrated player sending you a message afterwards. Helen Hall, 85. This guy's as old as I am. So, um, I don't know. When I meet older players, I usually assume that they're going to be pretty rubbish. But that's probably a bit mean. But if they're in the like the 20 to 26 year old range, then I think this guy's probably pretty good. Oh, the Chun Li mirror. This is a really messy matchup. Really messy. Usually you get online Chun Li's and they'll be doing a lot of neutral jump roundhouse. They'll throw out a lot of Hosen Car. Not Hosen Car, Hassan Shu. Don't think this guy would be doing that because he's got loads of points. Hey, that's a snazzy title. I don't think I've seen that one before. This will probably be a good match because this guy is probably good. Yeah, this guy is really good. That was really good. He's even using crouching MP, so this guy knows a thing or two about the night. about this match being really messy. Give that guy major props because that, that was some good work. Pad to tie it because the arcade stick is really difficult to go all the way around this keypad. You see Gutex and Mike Ross, and 
they're always typing on the arcade stick, so they have to do really short messages. And it takes them a long time in those um, excellent adventures episodes that they make. Personally, I think keyboards should be standard with with consoles. I mean, it's 2014, we need keyboards to talk to each other. No, I'm not playing this guy. But we have to make do with gamepads instead because consoles are really backwards. If they really wanted to get people addicted to games, then they would focus on the social aspects as much as the gameplay because that's what really gets people coming back. It's when they can talk to their friends and share experiences and so on. And it's not like this is some sort of secret in the game industry because a lot of uh, clued up game developers already do this. They support the social aspect quite heavily. Although it's a bit annoying when you've got all these different platforms and you have to keep adding all your friends just so that you can talk to them. Oh, this guy sent me a message back. I'll look at it after this match. So I don't want to lag it or delay the game or anything. That guy, he seemed like a really good player. said that I was good but I need to work on my footsies to my spacing so I'm gonna say yeah I've still got work to do in the mirror match because that's true I'm not that confident in the mirror match I sometimes lose against chummies that are a lot worse than I am this guy it was better I mean it's clear but I know that chummie versus chummie is not a strong match for me Dude, that was great pressure. And that I really need to get a handle on this matchup. I 
I'm actually half distracting myself when I'm talking during the matches. So usually I can play a bit, bit better than this, but I think it's important just to like make these videos a bit entertaining. To try and talk about what's happening during the match whilst I'm doing it. <coughs> this will probably be the last match on this video because I don't want it to cut off in the middle of a match and sometimes it can take up to like 5 minutes and I've only got 7 minutes left. This Blanca player again. I've played him too much in the past half hour. If he joins me again later, then I'll play him. Because I don't mind playing Blanca. It's a bit of an annoying matchup, but you've got to play it, haven't you? Because somebody will pick him. I don't think that guy was really teaching me a lot against high skilled Blankas anyway. Bar Blitz 2009. Oh, I've got another message. Yeah, got a buddy that has a prob in the chum mirror. It's not a prob, you get used to it. Well, that guy, he was really friendly, so... Props to you, Helen Hall 85 I always like to meet friendly players. It makes it a lot nicer to play the game, instead of letting everybody screaming at each other. <laughs> Zangief. Put my favourite stage on. I think this is episode 14, but I got a bit mixed up with the numbering when I was smoking some, uh, well, you know what. So, uh, maybe it's not. This guy's obviously plays thank you for a lot, so he knows what he's doing. So I'm going to be careful. Now I'm cold, I'm going to get cooked. I'm going to green hand me on my next wake up to keep back dashing. So I've got to look out for that. Green hand's not safe on block, so if you lock it, just punish him. Helps you reset space. Zangi, it's pretty hard for him to win against Chun Li because she has so many ways to reset distance on him. It's a really difficult matchup for him. Generally, when you lose against Zangi, it's because you did a lot of things wrong during the match. Anyway, that's all I've got time for this time. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.